Morning. Art Hostage here, and we're going to do another episode. Now, this is episode 102. Okay, so I'm going to do another one for today, because there's some news that's dropped about the Kinnahan gang, right? And it's very important. Because if you've been following this saga, okay, it's like a slow motion car crash, but don't worry, it's been played out according to the script. Okay, now the latest update, okay, is... Um, Assistant Commissioner Gardy, John O'Driscoll, right, is it is in the United States on a visit, and he's put up, and the Gardy have put up a photograph of uh, Assistant Commissioner O'Driscoll with DC Superintendent Seamus Boland with Gregory Gatjanis, Associate Director, Office of Foreign Assets Control in Washington DC, OFAC, or as they say in Ireland, OFAC. Or as they say in the UK, oh fuck. Because when they're on your case, right, it's game over. Right, the only thing left to decide is when. They will be engaging with US officials to review the progress that has been made to dismantle the Kinnahan Organised Crime Group. Now we go across to the Irish Times three hours ago. Headline... U.S. bans 600 people with suspected links to Kinnahans. Let me just repeat that. U.S. bans 600 people with suspected links to Kinnahans. Figures in professional boxing amongst those hit by sanctions prohibiting travel to the United States senior guard aid site. Excuse me, I've just had my dinner. Half a chicken. Green beans with some um, cheese sauce, right, and uh, jacket potatoes, lovely. Anyway, some 600 people with suspected links to the Kinnahan Organised Crime Group have been barred from entering the United States by American authorities, according to Assistant Guardy Commissioner John O'Driscoll. Speaking during a trip to the US, Mr O'Driscoll said sanctions prohibiting travel to the U.S. has been placed on several hundred individuals due to their connections with the Kinnahans, including large numbers involved with professional boxing. So, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, right, to see if you can make a list of who within professional boxing is now banned from going to the United States. So that would be, what, professional trainers, Trainers, boxers, promoters, right? Several hundred. Told you, see, I said this is a huge thing, right? British Boxing Border Control were raided last Friday the 13th. They're closed, right, today for IT maintenance, says on their website, right? Which means the, the National Crime Agency are downloading all the information. This is the biggest investigation in the history of boxing, okay, and once all the dust settles, right, boxing will look completely different, big, big names are going to be taken down, or they're going to be witnesses, they got a stark choice, you know, the likes of a lot of them, Tyson Fury, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, they're just big names, right, but all the way through, they will all as I predicted, they will all be be uh, questioned under caution. Let me repeat that. They will be questioned under caution about the gifts that they received off Daniel Kinnahan and the Kinnahans, not least the Hugh Block watches, the 50 of them, and then went on Instagram and YouTube and all that boasting about it. When the rest of the country's starving, can't pay their um, electric and gas bills, you know, and they're struggling to put food on the table, right? You've got Tyson Fury going on YouTube with, like, a watch that costs $50,000 or whatever it cost. Right, it's just using your loaf, quiet, you know what I mean? And then he tries to do all the charity things and everything like that. Well, anyway, so let's back to the article, right? Mr. O'Driscoll, who is responsible for policing efforts tackling organised crime, met officials from the US Drug Enforcement Administration, the DEA, and several other agencies during his trip. In April, 
US law enforcement announced significant sanctions against cartel founder Christy Kenahan Sr. and his sons Daniel and Christopher Jr., as well as four of their associates. Rewards of up to $5 million have also been offered by the Americans for information that would lead to the conviction of any of the three Kinahans or for significant information that could degrade, degrade the cartel. The high-profile announcement of the steps taken by the U.S. authorities to target the criminal organization saw the United Arab Emirates government follow suit with sanctions aimed at the leadership of the cartel, the majority of whom are based in Dubai. Speaking last month, Gardi Commissioner Drew Harris said the commencement of the U.S. sanctions was a landmark day in the fight against the cartel's leadership. The sanctions led to MTK Global, a boxing company founded by Daniel Kinahan a decade ago, to announce it was shut due to unfair scrutiny and criticism. Right, well, that, that's an understatement, right? Well, anyway, okay. Uh, the company managed a long list of world-class boxers, including Tyson Fury and Billy Joe Saunders, both of which have admitted the... Um, Gift of the Hugh Blow watch from um, Daniel Kinahan, to say the least. It was founded by Kinahan under the name MGM in 2012 in Marbella, but then he subsequently left the company. In recent years, it's been repeatedly claimed to have cut all ties with him. So you got it there, right? Well, and the numbers, the numbers, I like the numbers, right? 600. Do you remember that um, poem? Into the Valley of Death, Road to 600, right? About the um, the Light Brigade. Well, let's fast forward, right, from the Light Brigade, the charge of the Light Brigade, right? Into the Valley of Death, Road to 600, Kinahan Associates. Now, they're facing the same as the Light Brigade for, faced, right? A line of cannons. Now, what do you do? Are they going to go down like the Light Brigade or are they going to get off their horses and say, no, 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 no. Can we have a deal and cooperate? But that's a huge number, isn't it, right? 600. Not 599. 600 people, right, have been banned from going to the United States of America. Several hundred within professional boxing. They're turning up the heat slowly, isn't it, right? Is this what they call boiling a frog or something, right? So you've got the pan of water and you've got Christy Kinahan, Christopher Kinahan and Daniel Kinahan, right, as the frog sitting in the pan of, and they've got the heat under them and it's slowly getting warmer and warmer. How about that? Whereas the other way you can do it, I suppose, is like a pot of boiling water and then they throw the lobster in it, don't they, straight away. And it screams and all that stuff. Well, no, I don't like all that. Don't mind when it's on my plate, but I don't want all that know about what happens with the preparation. <coughs> so, they're slowly bringing up, turning up the heat. So, if 600 people have been banned from going to the United States of America, with their country of origin, right? Well, the law enforcement certainly is going to want to have a word with them. And let me assure you, right, unless they want to turn a part to be a participating informant, all of those interviews will be conducted under caution and recorded. And they can all sit there and they can say, I've got no comment, I've got no comment, nothing to say. Well, you know what the law is. You do that, right? Well, it shows a sign of guilt because it can be mentioned in court. You know, for example, let's just say Tyson Fury, he's being interviewed under caution and he says no comment, no comment. Okay, on things which are blatantly obvious, and then they go to court because he's, he's broken the 2002 Proceeds of Crime Act. If he tries to plead not guilty, they say, well, why didn't you, you know, answer for yourself? Unless, of course, he says that his family's been threatened or something, because they always like to bring that card out under threats. And then the latest we've seen, right, is um, Tyson Fury's on holiday somewhere, right? He's, he's as brown as a berry, right? He looks as fit as a fiddle, right? And it's a lovely video with him and his wife. Right, can't complain about that. And people are speculating that he's gone to Dubai. Well, the odds are, right, if there's 600 people, right, and few hundred within boxing that have been banned from the United States of America, 
Right, I think we can assume that Tyson Fury's name's on there. Right, and he might be able to get it off, right? So he might not be in America now, unless he's cooperating with um, authorities in America to give evidence against the Kinahan cartel. And if he has gone to Dubai, right, what a stupid move. Right, that really is the charge of the Light Brigade. Okay, even if he don't meet up with Daniel, it can't be proved that he's met up with the Kinahans, right? And if he's in Dubai now, right, that's him, right, flying straight into the line of cannons, like the Light Brigade. That is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Right, so I just hope that Tyson Fury's not in Dubai. He's somewhere neutral, somewhere that's got nothing to do with this. Right, for his sake and his family's sake, right, because they're all going to have to answer these questions. I mean, please tell me he's not that stupid, right, that he's going to fly to Dubai with all this controversy going on with the Kinahans. And especially that his name's on the list, right, and, and that the uh, National Crime Agency are going to want to interview Tyson Fury under caution, not least for the things he's already admitted, the uh, receiving of the Hugh Block watch and that, and other gifts over the years that you can trawl back on Instagram. And then all of a sudden the bags of cash that, that have um, been, you know, handed out and Tyson Fury's uncle, Peter Fury, right, who's dealing in cocaine and heroin and has dumped a donkey's years, right? The way that it works is that Daniel Kinahan gets a, uh, a payment from Tyson Fury as a consultant, but really it's paying for the drugs that Kinahan, the Kinahan cartel give to Peter Fury to sell. And that's the merry-go-round. And it used to work years ago and all that, but it won't work now. Not with um, OFAC on, on the case. They've forensically gone through the whole of this, and I told you, 600 people with suspected links to the Kinahan cartel have been banned from entering the United States. I mean, just try and take that in. Okay, right. And then there's another little story that's happened, right, that fell yesterday, right, um... It's to do with his wife, Daniel Kinahan's wife, luxury, £1.13 million, four-bedroom Dubai apartment uncovered. A new data leak shows how Daniel Kinahan's wife, Dubliner, um, Kaomi, oh, sorry, I can't say that name, C-A-O-I-M-H-E, Kelmi, right, is the registered owner of two plush apartments in Dublin's Marina, in, in Dubai's, Marina District, both in one of the world's most expensive real estate districts. This is, oh, yeah, this is Alan Sherry, right? I think he might have been on the Sherry, right, right, in this story. Anyway, this is the lux this is the inside of a luxury Dubai apartment inside a tower where Kinahan Cartel Wag um, Robinson owns a 1.1 million euro plus pad. A new data leak shows how Daniel Kinahan's wife is the registered owner. The property, the properties include a one-bedroom property in the El Mesk Tower worth €420,000, as well as a four-bedroom apartment in the Elite Residence Tower. OK, Robinson, who was previously in a long-term relationship with slain gangster Michael Mika Kelly, married Kinahan in a lavish ceremony attended by top international criminals in Dubai in 2017. She has been based in the Gulf State ever since. These photographs show the layout of a typical four-bedroom... Oh, I'm not interested in that. Several four-bedrooms are currently listed, right? The annual rent of them is €70,000 a year. The property is estimated to be worth just over a million. According to the property website, oh, I'm not interested in that. Equipped with state-of-the-art amenities, yeah, well, it would be. It's a nice place, right, yeah. 24-hour security, yeah, all right, okay. The building, yeah, right, she's listed as the owner, right, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, that's the thing, isn't it, with him, Dustin Hoffman. is to you, Mrs. Robinson, right, okay, what we got here? Yeah, okay. Like all Kinahan Link properties in Dubai, the Al Mesh Tower has its own private security guards. Right, Daniel Kinnan also owns an office on the 30th floor of the Jumarawai uh, Bay X3 Tower, estimated to be worth €328,000 in 2020. Other properties in, uh, are linked to the Kinnahans include one on the artificial island, Palm Jumaria, 
as well as listed as Daniel Kenham's residence by the US Treasury. A mansion in Sagart, Dublin, was seized by CAB, the cab, in April after Gardy linked it to Kenahan. While several properties linked to Kenahan have been identified by authorities and data leaks, they are believed to be many more around the world which have yet to be identified. Well, that's stating the bleeding obvious, isn't it? UAE have frozen Kenahan's assets. Right, well, it's all happening, isn't it? Right, we can't no doubt about that, right? You see, and, it, and it, they're gently um, boiling. I mean, they like frogs in a pot. But I still maintain, even after all this time, right, I think we're going to be looking back, right, or there has been negotiations between the Kinahan and their lawyers, okay, and people in the UAE, and maybe even law enforcement. It's called back channels, right? I was involved in it for donkey's years. Right? And, I, and what it was, I'd get given a message and I had to pass the message on to someone. And I didn't add anything and I didn't take anything away and I didn't give any opinions. It's called being a back channel. Right? It was to do with the Irish thing, right? The Irish struggle. Right? And the people knew that my opinions were Republican, but I had to put them to one side. And I was given something, right? A message from maybe the UK Security Service, MI5, MI6. And I passed it on to the Irish Republicans, word for word. And then, and that's it. And then they would give me a message and then I would pass that message back and I wouldn't take a position. It was called back channels. And it was all open within that sort of world, right? Because you have to have back channels in all war. At the moment now, but the Russian-Ukraine uh, war, right? There's back channels where they're talking and people passing messages, right? It's neutral sort of thing. You know, the sort of thing you'd expect the Swiss to do because they were always meant to be neutral. Okay, and let me tell you now, back channels have been happening now for weeks, if not months. Okay, and I'm just hoping it all ends peacefully. Okay, that the Kinnahans go down and hand themselves in peacefully to custody, right? Or if they are arrested, it's done in a peaceful manner. And I'd like the Kinnahans, when they do, Right, to issue a message, right, for no wars and no blood on the streets, right, because that's something else that we could see when it filters down to the street level. Okay, that's the least that the Kinnahans could do when they get arrested or when they've got to face the judicial system, is issue a statement that's to say, look, you know, none of these wars, no blood on the streets of Dublin or blood on the streets of London or anywhere, Spain, no bloodletting. I mean, that's the least that they could do. I mean, that's a neutral position. And it could stop future killings. Okay, so this is um, episode 102. Right, the Kinnahan's update. And I think they're very important. I mean, I'm still trying to get my head round, right, the number 600. I'm wondering if it's a typo and they meant 60. 600, right, that's a lot of people, isn't it? I mean, who could we name now? If we went to try to go through all the names, right, that are, um, that are barred from going into the United States of America, and John O'Driscoll said, like, several hundred from boxing, well, we, uh, you know, you get stuck after 10, 15, 20 names, don't you? You know, we can go through all the big names, Tyson Fury, Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, Cassius, you know, that Coogan bloke. Uh, ben Davidson, Macklin, Billy Joe Saunders, Amir Khan. Okay, and then you can go through all the boxes, right? And then other people, right? But, but you're still only up to like that. I mean, that was like nine, ten. I mean, they could have just thrown a big dragnet over all of them. I mean, that's a lot of people, isn't it? And then you've got promoters and you've got all these other people that people keep naming. Now, like the Panama Papers, right, and like other big leaks in history, Waltergate and all that, right, this is a, a message for Nicola Talent. Nicola, please get hold of that list of 600, right, that um, John O'Driscoll mentioned, right, and publish it in the, in the Sunday world. That'd be a scoop, wouldn't it? Although, mind you, the bloke who already dropped it, he might have a copy of it. But, I mean, any journalist out there, you've got to drop the list, didn't you? I mean, come on. And then if you see down the list, it's names that we all know, okay, right? But there would be names that people don't know as well, right? So it's a mixture. So you're not sort of trying to just get headlines for the celebrities who are now barred from entering the US. Possibly, 
you know, uh, Frank Warren, Eddie Earn, Tyson Fury and all those big names. But as we go down the list, there'll be names of people that um, most people don't know. So it'll be a mixture. So that's my um, task. You know, I'm setting this task for the mainstream media. Do your job. Get the list of 600 and publish it. That's what you're paid to do. Okay? And that's see, you know, in the next day or so, right, the whole list is published, like the Panama Papers, like the um, <clears throat> Watergate, right, like, like other things you break. I shouldn't think authorities would be too annoyed with you doing it, right? The only people who'd be annoyed whose names are on the list. Well, if their names are on the list, well, there must be some reason, right? And it's not accusing them anything. It's just saying the United States does not want them in the country because of links to the Kinahan cartel. Right? So let's see how the media react to this, right? Because, you know, there's an open goal there for you. Who is going to be the first, right, to leak the list of 600? Right? Well, we call this the Light Brigade list. Because this 600, right, a road into the Kinahan Valley of Death, like the poem. You know, the charge of the Light Brigade. So, anyway, right, it's very interesting, this. Very interesting. And there'll be some big names on there as well, but it's going to go right through boxing. Right, like a tsunami, I told you, and people were laughing at me, right? They were saying, don't be silly and all that, carry on. Right? I went, Look, trust me, I know. I've been doing this game 40 years, and I've only just crossed over into the sort of drug game, but it ain't no different. Crime's crime. You know, but anyway, right, 21 minutes, 22 minutes, episode 102, right, into the Valley of Death Road, the 600 Kinahan Associates barred from the United States of America. Art Hostage signing off.